Hi, my name is Lahance and I'm a 23-year-old freelance photographer and curator in Montreal, Canada. This summer I started a month-long pop-up gallery, shop, and community space called Camp Gallery with my friend Starchild Stella, a street artist, community organizer, and writer, and ambivalently yours, an illustrator and web-based artist. The reason why I wanted to do this project is because I've been running an art collective for a while now, since 2012. So running a space seemed kind of like the natural progression from there. Ambivalently Yours had a lot of experience working within gallery spaces, and Star Child Stella had been doing a lot of community work. So we wanted to merge our skills together and see if we could make it work. I'm a very strong believer in creating your own opportunities, and so I always wanted to see this kind of space happen in Montreal, so I just made it happen. And I know that it's not always that simple, but regardless, I really believe in young artists creating spaces for ourselves, both online and in real life. Aside from being an art gallery, it was really important for us to use camp as a community space. So we hosted a series of events almost every day throughout the month, such as poetry readings, a trans-feminist conference day, life drawing afternoon, movie night, a self-care day, the summer stock market, as well as various art openings and zine launches. My goal as a curator is always to showcase the work of young, queer, non-binary, and trans artists, and so that's really what I wanted to focus on with this project, and what I want to keep focusing on. Alongside these exhibitions, artists Zuzu Niu and Swarm also transformed storage space at the back of the gallery into a huge immersive installation entitled The Cabin, which turned out to be my very favorite part of the whole camp experience. Camp is a place, a verb, an adjective. It's playful and nostalgic. It's always elsewhere and temporary. Our aim with the space was to ask, what happens when art and activism go to camp? Is the work more daring and open when displaced into a collectively ephemeral state? Can serious action and ideas emerge from the light-hearted spirit of a camp-inspired setting? Removed from the predictability of daily life, camp allows us to step out of our routines and approach issues as an altered and sometimes more audacious version of ourselves. Our camp is a place where everything thought of as frivolous and fleeting suddenly has the potential to be radical and everlasting. So it's been about two weeks now since we finished the gallery project and I've taken a bit of space and time away from it to just think about what I learned and what the project meant to me basically. So the gallery was open seven days a week for an entire month, so it was very physically exhausting. It was also very challenging because we only had a couple days to set up the whole space and to de-set up at the end. And we also didn't get any funding for this, so we funded it ourselves with basically zero budget just by selling merch and by taking donations at events. Regardless of how exhausting it was, I'm really glad I did it and I definitely learned a lot, not only about just the ins and outs of running a physical space, but also about collaborating just with my colleagues and also with the community. And something I really learned this year and with this project is that sometimes some things take time and that's okay and that's just how you're gonna keep growing.